African deal, mama wait to African deal, mama wait to Kenya, Kenya, nobody can Zambia, nobody I go Tanzania, in the semi Congo, 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 a body got
money, where they should send people, medication, water, um, supplies and so on, which basically area suffered more than another area. So this community had a lot of deaths, a lot of injuries, maybe a lot of people had to move away. And we can then learn the location of the community while we're there and then see how it relates to your response. And the idea then is to be able to better inform the government either right after the disaster about sending a response, but also in the longer term about maybe if you're rebuilding settlements after floods, maybe they should be rebuilt in a different location so that next time they're not as vulnerable. Due to the rampant heavy rain that started last week, Butaleja district is now heavily flooded. Floods have cut off the road from Mbale to Butaleja at Doho Hebera. Vehicles are now stopping at one side of the road and people are lifted to cross the water at a fee. Transport fares have increased by 1,000, other places 1,500 and the prices of food items have shot up. Three primary schools of Doho and Nemekero were closed last week on Friday due to floods that cut off the feeder roads. Over 2,000 people have been relocated from their homes. Some are now staying with relatives. Their houses have been submerged. Some huts have collapsed. Uh, the government should now actually come in immediately to help us. Wow, wow, For instance, wow, actually wow. the Prime Minister's office should now come in to give help like in terms of food, like in terms of uh, tents, like in terms of tarpaulins, ta like in terms of medicines, all that actually government should come in. And also, special attention will be given to our road. Gardens of cassava, maize, matoke, potatoes are now waterlogged. The most affected sub-counties are Maizmasa, Kachonga and Hemotu. This is what is left of Nametsa village in Bududa district, where a massive mudslide swept down last evening, burying hundreds and leaving 60 dead. The mudslides followed torrential rains in the area, but some locals have blamed the catastrophe on poor farming methods practiced in the area. We have not been adhering to this uh, conservation tree planting and what have you is the cause of this problem. Houses were wrecked and gardens swept away. The survivors were in shock at the extent of the damage and the occurrence of the deadly mudslides that hasn't happened in years. The Bugisu region is known for having landslides. In 1997, Bududa district experienced El Nino rains that led to the death of 48 people and the displacement of tens of thousands. Chris Ochamringa, NTV 11.